In this video, I'm going to show some of the new dynamic plane associativity that's available in Mastercam 2023. The goal here is going to be to create a plane on this face, make changes to the part, move the part around, and have that plane follow it associative to the point that I picked. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the plane. We're going to use this face, and then I'm just going to anchor the plane to this point here. And we'll call that our tilt plane making sure that we're setting it as a C plane, which then sets it as a T plane. Under advanced settings here, I want to make sure that I have associative origin turned on as well as associative orientation. We'll click OK. And let's turn that plane on so that we can see it throughout this. So here it is. Let's go ahead and throw a toolpath on there. So we're just going to do a quick facing toolpath. And here I can kind of see the facing toolpath follows that plane, which follows that face. Now let's make a change to this model. So under model prep, I'm going to push this face in. And what I would expect now is that this plane should update to stay flat on this face and then re-anchor itself onto this point. I'll click OK. And that's exactly what happened. So I can see here, the origin of that plane has updated it's flat, it's exactly where I expect it to be. So here when I go and regenerate the toolpath, the toolpath regenerates as expected as well. Now let's move the part around a little bit. So I'm going to translate this part over. So I'll just select my part and let's use translate. I'm just going to drag it over in my X and drag it down in my Z, making sure that I'm moving it, not copying it. Click OK. And then again, you can see as soon as I clicked OK, that plane updated to stay exactly in that location with the part. If I go ahead and I regenerate, I'm good to go.